Okay, so today I have something really unique for you. It is 17,000 Perdido Key. Um, it is a tiny house. So we're gonna check it out. So let me kind of start from the road. All right, so beach is right there. So it's a bunch of different lots. Um, they're mainly mobile homes. Um, there's a little tiny house there, but they're mainly mobile homes. There's a couple um, RVs just parked, but this one is unique because what they did was they took what was an RV and then built on top of it. So with B17, um, you've got this building here and then another little area here and then you've got another building right over here. So let's show you this guy. There's gutters on everything. It's got a metal roof. Um, it's really unique. I kinda, kinda digging it if I wasn't so tall. So this, um, it's basically a shed. I mean, I've got one just about this size. It does have power. It's got air conditioning. Um, It's not insulated, but you've got, you know, extra living space. Storage space, all that good stuff. Okay. And then this building, so you've got an outdoor shower here. I'll go in there in a second. There's your um, HVAC unit. It's all fenced in. I mean, you don't have grass or anything, but I'll go up there. All right, so this little guy is, um, they have an extra refrigerator in here as well as laundry. And there is obviously power. This one is not heated and cooled, but there's a ton of houses in our area that just have the washer and dryer in the garage. So this is really no different. And then your water heater's down there. All right, hold on one second. All right, we're back. All right, so I don't have this one unlocked yet, but there is an access point here. And you've got more storage there. I just didn't open it up. But you've got the equivalent, and I don't know how to work these things. Let me see. Oh, there. So you can have a little screen door or your regular door. And then when you come in, all right, so you've got your living area back there. Upstairs goes to two bedrooms and then your kitchen and then your half bath. And there is a sink and a mirror. All right, so I'm gonna, so I am about 5'10". I'm putting, I'm going to put the camera so it's touching the ceiling. So I've got, let me see here. So I mean, I've got, I don't know, let's see, four inches. So I mean, if you're taller, it's going to be tight, but this is kind of cool. So lots of storage. I mean, I, okay, well, that one's not storage. Okay, let me, there's that one. Oh, look, spice rack. More spices. If you have spices, you're set. Storage. Yay, storage. I found one. <laughs> storage. Let's see. Ah, oh, bust. Ah, oh, bust. Okay, so those are all just fake, but we've got storage down here, guys. It's all good. <laughs> got a little fridge. You do have a wash, um, a dishwasher, microwave. There is your stove and your oven. Looks like it's actually gas. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you got a little bench here. Um, I would say you could probably put another little thing here for cabinet space if you needed to, um, since you don't really have any upper cabinets, but. And then, no, that's like a vinyl, it's not um, tile. 
But you've got enough space here. I mean, I've never really, I've only been in an RV one time, but, so I'm sure they had like built-ins or whatever. Um, but, and then the, this area is much more, like it's bigger, obviously, see? So, it's, like I don't feel as claustrophobic right here. Oh, there's the other light switch. Hang on, let's see if it works. Oh, it does, okay, good. Um, but they've got these little um, air conditioning units and it's like really cold in here, so that's working really well. And surprisingly, these windows are actually keeping a lot of the noise out. I mean, cause that road, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty busy, but it's keeping a lot of that noise out. All right, let's go upstairs. I can't believe I'm saying we're going upstairs in an old RV, but you are. All right, so this way is another bathroom and a bedroom. We're gonna go to the back first. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna go to the front first. All right, so you've got storage, closet. Let's see, is this an actual, yes it is. There you go. It's a little tight. There we go. This looks square actually, but um, it might be a queen, might be a king, not really sure. It's big. Window, little step up there. Another little window, HVAC. You've got a little desk and some more cabinets. Some more space here. Here is your full bathroom. So there is a full um, shower. You do have some more hanging space there. Toilet, all that good stuff. I wanna stand in it and see how tight it is. All right, so <laughs> that's where it's hitting me. So I mean, it's not for tall people, but you know, if you're already used to living in an RV, then it would be fine. All right, so here is the back bedroom. Again, this looks a lot shorter than a normal bed, but it looks wider than a twin, but shorter than a twin. But either way, still a bed. Let's go to the cool area up here. All right. Nope. There we go. All right. So, I can see the water. You guys, this home is under $300,000. It has a water view. So, I'm on the rooftop. We've got cool space here. You can see the canals over there. And even if that gets built up, you still have the views there. There's an access point there. Not too shabby for under three hundred thousand dollars. See a lot of other people did the same thing. Super cool. It's my first tiny house. I'm not digging how there's no railings here, but that's okay. Got these little captain's windows 